Hey guys, Doug here, how's it going? This is a video I'm very excited to do. It's a 2018 Lemax Spooky Town preview. Lemax just put up all of the buildings, including Michael's exclusives, on their website. So I'm gonna just be going off pictures here. But later this year, when all the buildings come out, I hope to review all of these. And maybe if I can't get to all of them, most of them at the very least. So I'm not gonna talk about the accessories very much. I'm mainly gonna focus on the buildings here. Uh, but let's talk about a couple of those first. This is Kalgoorlie Lasso. Now, this is interesting because uh, not only does this piece look really cool, um, but this is a theme that they haven't done a lot of lately. It's the Wild West theme. And I actually have some of these buildings and this is a really, really well done theme. So it's cool to see this one coming back here, even if it's just an accessory at this point. You guys know I love jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins, so of course I'm gonna love this, the evil pumpkin tree. And uh, something related, uh, this is the evil pumpkin water tower. Now this is pretty interesting because this looks like it's heavily inspired by the Department 56 water tower. Now I don't know the price on this, but this should be a nice alternative for those of you who don't want to spend as much money, you know, on the Department 56 one. This is the creepy confections uh, little side piece here. I love this. It's like a, you know, of course it looks like a, a piece of candy corn, little candy corn building, um, but it's like a little candy stand. And uh, you can see here brain nougat, candy spiders, licorice bats, and chocolate bats are all on the uh, the menu there. So cool little side piece. This would work great for like a carnival, town festival, or, or really anything, I suppose. Okay, now let's get into the building, shall we? This little crypt is called First Time Buyers. Now, this is a lit building. Uh, there's no animation or anything, um, but I'm really liking how this looks. Of course, it is, you know, a crypt, and it's uh, making fun of, you know, I guess whoever just bought this crypt, and they're moving in. I like the stone style here. This would obviously work with something like the R.I.P. Mausoleum or one of the other pieces in that style, uh, but you don't see this construction a lot, at least this style, so it's, uh, it's pretty neat. This is Monster Hunting Supplies. Now, this is sort of a take on a, a bait and fish, you know, tackle shop, like you'd find, you know, a country store at a, a gas station or buy a gas station or something. But of course, it is for Monster Hunting Supplies and they have monster bait. This is the Haunted House of Props. Now this is just a standard lit building again, no animation or anything on it. But this looks like, you know, a theatrical prop shop. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what this one looks like, you know, what the size of it is. Um, but I dig how it looks at least, you know, just from the preview picture. This is the creepy cabin. This is one of the best looking pieces, in my opinion, of these new ones that they've announced here thus far. It looks like a spooky old log cabin. It sort of reminds me of something even like out of Evil Dead. This is the Witch and Warlock residence you can see here. Of course, there is a, you know, it looks like a married couple, uh, a witch and a warlock. They've got a cauldron outside. They have a mailbox, looks like a snake or something in it, dried toads outside. And of course, it, likes, it looks like the house is kind of uh, turning in on itself a little bit. This is another one that's just standard lit, no animation or anything. Okay, now this is probably my favorite of the standard just lit houses with no animation this year. This is the Squash Shack. You know, again, I love my pumpkins and all that, so this is gonna look perfect in my neighborhood. My theme this year uh, that I'm going for for my, uh, my village is going to be a traditional trick-or-treat neighborhood, so this is for sure going to find its way into my setup this year. Okay, now this is a theme you don't see explored very often, the Haunted Museum. I love these style of buildings where the, you know, they're kind of just interesting um, one-off things, like, you know, they do the, Lemax has the zoo, They've got the arcade. This would work awesome in a theme park. It would also look good in your town, of course. Um, this building reminds me of, you know, like you'd uh, see one of those, you know, like at a lake or something where they have a lot of those old timey attractions. Sometimes you see like a wax house or, you know, like a Ripley's Believe It or Not place. That's what this looks like. This is the Hollow Graves Manor. Now, uh, on Lee Max's website, um, you can see they already have video up of this. This is an animated piece, um, at least as far as the lighting. It has dynamic lighting, it flashes and um, plays a soundtrack too. And the theme of this, of course, is like a repossessed house. There's a good chance you're gonna see this building in my neighborhood this year as well, uh, because it fits that whole neighborhood theme I'm going for. This is the Crypt Casino. Out of the non-Michaels exclusive buildings, this is my favorite. I love this theme. It's a spooky, you know, haunted casino. The lights on the marquee, uh, they actually blink. Uh, there's video of this on Lee Max's website you can check out right now. They haven't really done a building like this that I can recall um, with this theming. I'll for sure be doing a review of this one. I can't wait to see what it's like. All right, now let's get into the Michaels exclusives. Man, they have done an awesome job this year. Now, as of this recording, 
Um, there's no video of these yet, so I'm just kind of describing what they describe on the website, but for sure check out the website, leemaxcollection.com. This is the Gateway Halloween Countdown. Now this is an accessory piece. Uh, it's one of the countdown, you know, accessories that they do where um, the numbers are removable, um, so you can count down, you know, till, uh, till Halloween. They also have some of the, these style buildings for Christmas. I really like the gate theme here though because I think that'll integrate better into villages versus the other countdown pieces which are sort of more standalone. Here is the carnival piece for the year. This is the eerie go round. I love this. Now it looks to be smaller, um, you know, than some of the standard carnival pieces which can be pretty big, uh, but it's not light on details, that's for sure here. Um, I love the jack-o'-lantern theme, you know, the spooky jack-o'-lantern. This would go fantastic with last year's Mad Pumpkin patch. Um, the pumpkin on top actually sort of resembles that. And it's a small, like a kitty merry-go-round. And uh, yes, these move up and down and they go around in circles, so it says on the website here. Very excited to integrate this into my village. All right, all you witch lovers, this is the Witch's Tower. Now, this is an animated piece, uh, animated and lit. And um, the witches on top rotate and the witches in the middle will rotate as well. And then you've got, uh, you know, various lights throughout it. I'm sure that uh, some of my friends who, that's the main theme that they collect, the witches, you know, shout out to you, Portia who uh, runs the I Love Lee Max Spooky Town group on Facebook. She loves her witches. I'm sure she's gonna really love this piece. This is the Symphony of Screams. I love this theme. This is a very original theme. This is basically a haunted symphony hall. Again, I haven't seen the video, but it says online that there is a lot of animation here. The conductor rotates, the orchestra sways left and right, the drummer pivots, the stage lights glow, the flames glow, and that these eyes, uh, it says that they peek out of the windows. I don't know if those blink or not, but I can't wait to see what it looks like. This looks like a heavy metal orchestra. All right, finally, the last piece we're gonna talk about today. This is the Wasteland Pub, Michael's exclusive building. This building looks awesome. You know, I'm a big gamer, so I've been playing the Fallout series of games forever, and that's what this reminds me of. It looks like a place you would actually visit in Fallout, especially with the guy on top with the gas mask. This will obviously fit great into your zombie scenes, um, you know, your apocalyptic type scenes. This piece looks very detailed. I love how it looks like it's a, actually a ramshackle, you know, put together hunk of junk building. I can't wait to get a hold of this building. You know, I, I said that I plan on doing a neighborhood theme this year. This building might not necessarily fit into that theme, but I gotta figure some way to get this in there because it looks like it's way too cool uh, to not display. So as I mentioned earlier, as the summer comes and all these buildings get released, uh, you know, normally in July, I intend to review all of them if I can, and if I can't get all of them, at least most of them, the big ones, I'll for sure hit. So I can't wait for the upcoming haunting season. I know we're in February, it feels like it's far away, but it'll be here before we know it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon.